and you're out here just walking around, you never know what you find. Look at that, a shoe stuck in the tree right there, huh? Welcome to freezing cold Colorado. I tell you what, it's a little bit nippy here in the mornings when you but first I'm here, get got up. a couple friends, they have a mining claim here along the Arkansas River, and I'm here to do a little bit the sun of sun is just now coming up over that mountain right there, so it's starting to warm up. It was pretty cold this morning when I first came out. I had to be using me a heater. You know, I'm from Arizona, I'm not used to this cold Colorado stuff. You guys that live in Colorado, whoo, or back in the these cold places there's still snow on the mountains i don't know how you but do anyways i've got me a four inch keen triple sluice dredge and i'm going to drag it on down here to the river i found me a little eddy spot that i'm going to put it in and uh see if i can get some gold The water is a little high still right now. You got these rafters that love to float on down here. So the water is a little high. So we kind of got to find our little eddy spots to put in. But I found this nice little spot, I think, that'll be just perfect to put the dredge in. And get right, I gold. want some of this Colorado gold. I don't think I'll be using the air and I probably won't be going diving down too far under. Not until I get me a good hole started. I don't think I'll be getting in that water I'm sure too it's deep. pretty cold right now in that water. Well, so first off, I got to drag this dredge on down and then put it then together. Then we'll fire it on up and see if we can get us some good old Colorado gold. All right, let me show you where I'm gonna put in at here. Uh, that's where I'm gonna put in, right here. Right there. It's a little too fast out there, but uh, right here, it's calmer. There's an eddy right here. You got all these rocks. And you go right down a little bit further, right down there, it's just sand, which tells me that the heavies are all being pushed over here. So I'm going to send my tailings out that way. I'm going to start sucking right here and work my way into this bank area and just take all this right here. Probably start right out about there and just work my way into here. And we'll see what we can get. I think I need to trim some of these lower branches out of my way. I think uh, I don't want to carry that motor and sluice down. I think maybe I'll put that in the truck and kind of drive it down here as far as I can. That's a lot better. I get all these rafters that float in here. We put in right there across the way. Man, that's a ton of them over there. Okay, I probably won't be needing air right away. But everything else, the back of the truck. Well, so this is coming together nicely. Here's Gary screwing with his. Trying to get his together. How you doing, Jack? How you doing? Oh, man. Beautiful day. We're ready to go. Pick up some gold. Warming up, I know that. <laughs> well, I got this put together. I'm gonna fire this up now, see if it'll start. take a break. I gotta go get me some uh, goggles so I can see under there. I got me a hole started. That first thing I had to do was open me up a hole. So I'm down past long arm in it now. So now I need to put on some goggles and uh, snorkel or breathe in something so I can go under there and see what's underneath. 
So that's what I got to do now. Taking a break. Well, Gary has started. He's down there going away. Look at that. There he goes. So I can't see, but I got a good hole going on there. One thing I want to do is check uh, my riffles. Make sure I'm not filling up with black sand. I can still see some my carpet. So there's sand under behind my riffle, so that's good. Not looking too bad. It's looking pretty good, I think. dredging for a few hours now so uh, the riffles are starting to fill up with a little bit of black sand they're going to stop and do a cleanup here just to and check I wonder it if out I should be going into the bank more if i should be going out more too so uh i've been coming into the bank so telltale sign so let's do a cleanup and see what kind of gold we're getting i think the other two are going to be doing a cleanup too i know dave is doing a cleanup are you doing a cleanup gary no, I, I, I'm not, I'm not getting that much oh okay David's doing a cleanup. Let's look at David first. Oh, David's over here doing him a cleanup here. Check out all this black sand. Whoa, man, I can't even walk. Oh, yeah. Holy mackerel. wonder why it fills up with black sand so bad. Because there's so much of it right there where I was digging. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was after letting it clear out for probably five minutes before I shut it down. Wow. Well, we'll see if you get any gold, huh? Oh, there's gold. I saw a speckle. Oh, did yeah. <laughs> That's what I've got to do over here now is do me a little clean up here. Uh, yeah, look at the black sand sit. A lot of black sands are filling in. A lot of black sands are filling in. Let's clean this up. Whew. A lot of black sands. It's time to clean up the dredge concentrates and see how well I did. I'm gonna be using this mini monster. Yeah, that's right, the little backpack series. Uh, he sent a trommel for me that is supposed to mount on top of this here. However, I didn't get in time before I left uh, to come up here, so I'll be using that trommel once I get back on a different, uh, different venture. But right now, I'm just gonna set this uh, little mini monster up and run my concentrates through it and then clean it up and see how much gold I got. Colorado gold. Well, there's a pretty slick little unit right here. It's got its own little chargeable battery. It's got a rheostat right here on off. It comes all complete right here, ready to go. Well, let me run some material, see what happens here. this little basket up here. You don't have to use this basket because it does have fire right here, but I like to use this basket. Yeah, 
lots and lots of black sands in there. Woo! Lots of black sands. I was using this as a catch pen. I'm going to dump this in here and I'll later test this and see if it's losing anything. That's cool. See, it's got a nugget trap right back in here. That's a nugget trap. Catches nuggets right there. So I need to slow thing. this way down. That's what's so cool. So it just barely rolls. There's a little bit of water over it. And check this out. See what's in there. All right. First, I just want to check this bottom mat here. Hang this out. See any gold in there? No gold in there. That's a good sign. Okay, now let me pan this one. So here's where a lot of the probably nuggets should be. It's in this place right here. And the gold right there. This is I can fold this up out of the way. Okay. There. Turn this up. Black sand. I'm just gonna look before I pan it down anymore. Can you see what's in here? Well, there's a little bit of gold I got. I was just opening up the hole. Now that I'm getting down there, next run should be better. That's a trial. Not bad. But that's it for me for the day. I'm done. I'm spent. I'm tired and I ache. <sighs> I'm not used to this type of hard work. Uh, it's, it, it's, you know, dredging just kind of is relaxing. You just kind of sit there and just kind of relax and just let the nozzle suck the dirt up. But for then you. you got rocks you got to pull out of the way. You got rocks you got to pull out of your nozzle. You got that big holes you're moving Cut around. Kind all the clean up and, and then all the setup and carrying stuff are down and putting it no all together. No wonder I just feel well, beat didn't do up. a whole lot. I probably only dredged maybe total of maybe 30 minutes. If but I hey, was I lucky. did find a little bit of gold. So that's what counts the most. So tomorrow's a new day. I'll get at it again and do some more work tomorrow. But anyways, I'm going to call it a day for now. Go get ready for some dinner. So anyways, I want to thank you guys coming along, sharing on these adventures. Please like, share, subscribe. Life is an adventure, and I'll continue this adventure. This is only day one, and I still have five more days of this. So anyways, you guys all take care. Thanks for watching, everyone. Whoa.